there we go what else can you do in life these days um i got bored finally my uh, my belgium in a box um box uh, beers arrived today um it's took it's took a while obviously i i expected it with all what's going on in the world being upside down at the moment um but what, one thing i will say though i was a bit miffed with them because they're not much cop at uh, replying back to emails um but a phone call worked so yeah i thank my good friend uh, barry for um giving me the nod on that one um i have actually opened the box up because the side of the of the um box was a little bit wet and we've had one casualty out of the uh, 10 beers or so that i ordered and it happens to be the uh saint bernardus extra four that's the only uh the only casualty at the moment from what i can see anyway all the glasses are intact as well hey up scott how you doing mate <laughs> sorry mate sorry anyway you're here now anyway let's get a beer on the go anyway first couple of couple of pills and miracles why not make hay while the sun shines and all that jazz i will say with this my, my first order from from belgium in the box prices are bang on to be honest the pmp's good to get it over here it was about six or seven euros you can't really knock that two cans in a glass uh, i've also strengthened my uh, my glass fetish as well Mm. <sighs> stuff. Right, hang on, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Right, beers. First out, the only can out of the box, and it's a banging one. It is absolutely banging. Castile, a Barristeer chocolate quad. Um, had it a few times in bottle form. Did a live with my good mate Peter a long while ago with it. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Got that. And also picked the the glass up as well which is pretty lovely i must admit that's a really nice looking glass and then we've got uh got straff hendrick and their quad 11 percent quad another glass as well where's that one Yeah, lovely. Right, okay, let me get on top of the comments. Um, the embryologist. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you doing? Kent Beer Reviews. Craig, how are you doing, mate? Hope you had a good birthday, chap. Considering. Um, Neil, working from home. It's showing its perks. I don't think my boss would be happy with me watching live streams in the office. He won't know, mate. He won't know. I won't say anything if you don't. Uh, Scott, want to be a wonder? The quad is great. Great. Um, I think I've had it before in the past, but it's definitely a, a beer that I haven't reviewed before. So looking forward to to giving that a bash on camera. Um, you've got an all B and H on me. <laughs> hey, up, Barry. How are you doing, mate? Hope you're doing well. Still pottering about in the garden, no doubt. Or is it beer o'clock for you as well? Right, anyway, next beer. Uh, Trappist Rushful 10. What's this one? 11.3% uh, ABV. Again, another beer that's a, a, a classic, I suppose. Never had it. Shamefully, never had it. Uh, 
and then we've got the the trappist rochefort eight this one is sessionable 9.2 percent abv that uh, too didn't i just that too <laughs> i mean the, to, be, to be fair the prices of some of these glasses are just absolutely they're peanuts really in comparison to the bottle shops over here for uh uh, I don't know, a, a, a teku, a, a branded, a bottle shop branded teku, you're looking at about four or five quid. So I know they were a damn sight cheaper. Uh, Kempi Roos Classic. Um, the embryologist Rochefort 10 is one of my favourite of all times. Uh, Barry Lee, you've been around my house knocking, knocking my beers and glasses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course you're a, you're a big lover of all that as well, mate. It must be rubbing off. Uh, wonder be a wonder. Loving the proper glassware. Seen it somewhere before, haven't we all, mate? Haven't we all? There's a man with every glass for that. Okay, next one. Ghent Strop. This come in a a presentation box. Um. I thought it was only one beer actually, but they've they've sent me two beers, so I suppose it, it makes up for the the damaged one anyway. And then it comes with a glass. And this unusual thing, but from their website. I've seen the bottle hanging from the noose and then the glass underneath. So maybe yeah, a nice little presentation thing, if nothing else, to go into the uh the man cave when i finally get my horse moving obviously it's up in the air at the moment with all what's going on so i don't know where i stand with that that was i think that was mm, 10 euros just under 10 euros for that for that little thing probably nicking yeah yeah i know what you meant mate and now scott <laughs> yeah Everyone making the most of the sunshine. Okay. The trap. This is their Bock beer. 7% uh, ABV. Interesting to see how that pans out. I know my 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 lovely wife got me um a gift pack off Amazon of these guys with a, a glass triple the IZ or the double and the quad bloody lovely really really nice beers they were never reviewed them just just drunk them at my leisure and enjoyed it enjoyed it so yeah looking forward to that one whether I review it or not I don't know and then it's uh, St Bernard Bernardus beers uh, Christmas ale do I age it uh, ten percent uh, best before four for the eighth twenty three so yeah I could just put that up and forget about that one to be honest uh, then we've got the prior eight Abbey ale eight percent ABV we've got the wit beer five point five The triple, eight percent. Massive dates on these. A pat of six. I might have done that one actually. That one rings a bell. Six point seven percent. And last but not least, the apt twelve, ten percent ABV. And a glass as well. Where's that one? I think that pack with the one, two, three, four, five, six. Should have been seven beers in a glass. I think that was coming in about 14 euros, something like that. Again, can't really argue with it. 
pretty pretty good pricing really I'm not going to kick off about the breakage I'm just glad it come here really could have been a whole lot worse <sighs> want to be a wonder no Barry Lee what are you supping Dean I'm on a Pilsner mate couple of cans of Pilsner Urkel perfect for this weather the trap is always good stuff want to be a wonder Jesus you've got more money than Barry And then Barry comments that, ha ha, to you, Scott. A one off, mate. I won't make a habit of doing this. No. But I just thought I'd get, in, get into the swing a little bit of, of Belgian beers, really, to be honest. Um, it's not something, something I do a lot on my channel. I probably won't review them all. I'll just do do a few here and there. And to be honest, I, I haven't put the review up for a long while because I just haven't really felt it and with all what's going on and everything um everybody's circumstances is is different i guess and it's just a bit stressful shall we say but hopefully we'll all, we'll all come out of it the other end better people i'd like to think so anyway uh barry lee what you got broken dean it was the the remnants and try and get it out what's left of it the extra yeah could have been a lot worse though couldn't it i know when i um after i put the order on i had a look on their on their on their facebook page just to get a feel of comments off other people that have ordered and um People weren't that happy with DPD, to be fair, with how they throw parcels about. I think some people have had some right nightmares and complete orders more or less smashed to pieces and delivered. Um, so, yeah, I think probably I got away lightly, really, with just one breakage. Could have been a whole lot worse. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, Rob, nothing sour. No, not on this order, chap. No sours at all. But plenty of strong beer, though, for sure. Embryologist, if you'd like me to try some Belgian Imperial Stouts, try some of the, the Strauss Brower stuff. Very good. Um, the Strauss, I think I've had a couple of beers before from them. Back in Bumblebees, they keep coming in all the time. Since the sun's been out, and you see that bloody tree down out because they, they, they like magnets to it, but they keep coming in here and then they just buzz off fucking things yeah i think i've had some dis distraught stuff before rings a bell anyway rings a bell and then barry lee put i contact Belgium in a box you might have some joy yeah i could do i could do but is it worth it for one bottle mate i don't know plus they sent me an extra extra um bottle of that so does it level itself off i guess it does really never had that one before so yeah there we go pretty pretty good huge b came into the shed earlier wonder almost fell off a chair i bet she did i mean she's a bit sort of like don't like the old flies going around so a, a bumblebee will probably panic mode activators yeah Well, I know what you're sucking on, Scott. What's everyone else drinking, if at all? Come on, Barry. You must be on that perfect draft, mate. Can beer reviews any live hangouts coming up um not to my knowledge mate not to my knowledge 
unless you've got anything in the pipeline um nothing nothing on my end anyway probably need to get into it a little bit more because of obviously the the the, the time to do it everybody's got a little bit more time haven't they, on their hands to do it yeah i did catch your one with um was it adam peter and rod rod jumped on the knee and then the guy with the beard i always forget his name red beard is it uh probably the, no not any anything mate i know i'm as shocked as you i thought you'd be straight on that fucking tap handle mate with the weather uh then scott wonder be a wonder simon's cornered the market craig he has he, he seems to be doing an awful lot us, us minions don't stand a chance do we eh? What do you reckon I should review first, then? Come on, suggestions. <clears throat> yeah, do it, do it for us, not for views. Yeah, yeah, no, you. I get, I get totally where you're coming from there, Craig, mate. You're um, a good, a good uh, ambassador, I sh shall we say, for for a, a community of beer people. Me, not so much, but I, I, I you know, you know, how I stand, Craig, mate. I, I, I love all of you guys. Um, it's just the, the group thing. I've always been like that. It's just how I am. Make no bones about that. But you're all solid as a rock and you've got got a bloody a, a good good solid beer community watch 48 barry says that it is then mate that it is set in stone that is you hear the ear from barry watch 48 first review i've still got some stuff to be doing with um thomas thomas mccarthy sent me some beers um so i need to get on them really i mean i mean of course, we'll turn the favour to that man because it was very nice of him to send me some beers. I'll have to give him a message on Instagram. I've done one already, which was very nice. I, I, I need to um, publish it. Barry Lee, ha ha. And then Rob, little Rochefort 10, you'll be self isolating in bed. All right, okay. Yeah. I'm just surprised that I have. It's got it's got this far, and I've never actually had a bottle. Um, I think I've had something before from them when I very first started out. It was, it might, it might have been them. Was it? A, they did a wild ale. I think that's like a yearly thing that they do. That would have been a 2015 wild ale, maybe. I'm not sure. If it is them, it might be someone else, but I think it is um, Tropics Rochefort. Quality. So is, is everybody completely sort of unable to work? I, I know there was a chap in the comments that was saying he was working from home. Anybody else? Or is that it, Finito? I think it is for me now at the moment. Barry Lee, still got the eight. And then he put, still got the eight and the ten to do myself. Okay. you put your order in quite a while ago didn't you is that is that them beers from the last order that you did barry
<laughs> I've just seen the WhatsApp message, you bastard. <laughs> He's a card, he is, I tell you. A good a good one, though, and that's Scott. He's a, he's a legend, he is. I like his humour. <laughs> uh, I'm a gas engineer, so still working. Okay. Um, Craig, supposed to be an announcement for self-employed workers later today. Yeah, um, they should have... They should have sorted this a few days ago, but I think it's, it's so complicated. Um, if anybody knows, it's, it's self-employed. When you, well, for me, I, I do my own books, so when I come to, to file my tax return, it's an absolute fucking headache. I'm just starting to come to terms with it, but the questions and the, the red tape you have to jump through, it's it's a complete headache. So. In some respects, it's a mirroring of that, but it's the government having to deal with their own shit and push it back to the people. So I can see why it's taking longer than it should, but hopefully, hopefully it'll all come good and we'll all get looked after. You'd like to think so. I put in, I should get out. That's it. That's it. Barry Lee, Lady Harris giving you shit he is mate he's taking a piss on bloody whatsapp referring to um yeah we'll leave it at that imagine how you'd feel though now if it was pissing down in rain it's just completely deflate you at least with the sun i don't know it's it's nice something to be cheerful about We've all just got to get on with it, haven't we? Pissing and moaning about it and being a rebel and defying what people tell you to do. It's just, it's, you're flogging the dead horse. Just fucking swallow it up and just get on with it. The sooner everybody toes the line, the sooner it'll get put to bed, will not it, really? In the, in, the, in the grand scheme of things. But it only takes a few idiots to, uh, to spoil the apple cart, doesn't it? And of course, maybe the the negative of of the sun being nice, it's a it's a it's a magnet for all the idiots to go out, isn't it? Um, the sun from Barry Lee, the sun being out helps being at home. Yeah, it's supposed to be cash payout apparently, guys. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, they've all got they've all got the capability of accessing that information of people's accounts to to to, to get money sent fast. Um, I haven't some of my work colleagues and and whatnot haven't uh, managed to get any sort of anywhere with the government so far with the the eighty percent payout thing. I'm not too sure how that's being rolled out. Cash pay cash is king. Cash is king. Woohoo. Mighty fucking fine, this is. I've got another couple of cans in the fridge. I might have to take them to the garden with me and sit on that chair there and just bask. <sighs> 24 minutes it's pretty good actually for me considering i'm solo at the moment that's that's pretty good but i must admit i am starting to run out of things to say unless you want it you lot in the comments there can generate some sort of chit chat i'm quite happy to to carry on for sure but i don't want to just sit here thinking ah, mm, oh, mm, oh, you know what i mean <laughs> Oh, Barry Lee, bet them cans won't see four o'clock. Is it ten to three? Bob open, no open. 
Now I'll be straight on them. <clears throat> best best beer to have in the in the in the warm weather. A good a good solid pilsner. Mm. Yeah, bang on that is. We're lucky to see three. Oh no, all past. It's me in the middle. <laughs> I haven't forgot anything, have I? No, I've done everything, yeah. Right, okay, I think we'll we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it up. I want to go and sit in the garden there and relax. Thank you to all you lot out there commenting. Much appreciated for you stopping by, as always. Lovely stuff. Oh, here we go. Got bloody comments coming in here now. I'll keep going, I'll keep going. Wonder Beer Wonder, playing Lego Star Wars. Who are you playing it with, mate? Playing it on your own? Uh, names of days mean nothing anymore. It's Yeah, I've lost track of all the days, Craig. But yeah, fair comment on that, mate. It's, it, it's all sort of like merged into one, actually. It's, it's very, very weird. Very weird. Um, I still have to go out... Um, in my car to take my my missus to work because she, she's a key worker so i still have to go out and about to, to drop her off because she, she can't drive but to, to go out it's so sort of like still there, there are people pottering around and there's a, there's a few cars on the road and wagons and whatnot but it's it's weird it's very very weird when you you used to sort of like hustle and bustle and fucking lines of traffic and you know just gone and the towns as well you can hear a pin drop you know scary when i dropped her off yesterday i had to go down the town to to cancel the direct debit and uh it was just fucking creepy really creepy See you all again, lads. Take it easy, Barry, mate. Take it easy. And then Neil comments. Cheers, Dean. All the best, mate. Well, I'm still on actually, because well, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If the, if the comments keep trickling in, I'll I'll crack on. Uh, Wonders cheating. Clamp down on that, mate. Uh, Craig, you can really hear the birds singing from their windows. Shut. Sure. Yeah. 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 It, I like all that, to be honest. I've got a, a bird feeder at the bottom of the garden, which I just reloaded. And uh, in the mornings, they just flock to it. They've got all the starlings and a couple of, couple of blue tits and all that. And it's, it's really nice, actually. They just congregate all around the, the bird feeder. It's nice to see. And, and you look up in the air. I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a plane at the moment, which is probably the first one I've seen for a long while. But that, that trail of smoke that leaves behind, the clouds, are, you know, it's just been clouds and, and just clear blue skies and none of that, you know, you know, the lines of the smoke. So in a way, I suppose it's helping, it's helping the planet a little bit, isn't it, reducing all the bloody, um, you know, all the carbon and all that shit. Right, finito. Thank you very much. Um, stay safe, all of you. And uh, when I get around to getting a bit another beer with you on, then you'll see a few of them coming in and, and maybe some beers that, uh, that Thomas sent me. But, yeah, once again, thank you very much. Stay safe, guys. Much appreciated. Ciao for now. <laughs>